What's going on? How you doing? My name is Dave the Cook and today I'm going to show you how to mix that little baby trap style dubs and ad libs. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you to subscribe and drop a like. I have a song here. It is called Lit by Little JJ. I'll put the link to the song down below in the description so you can check out the full song. I'm going to play the hook and part of the verse. Young nigga, yeah, I'm fucking lit. I'll be going, 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 see me working till I'm fucking rich. Ay, five hoes, girl, you number six. I had niggas do me dirty, they're the reason why I tried to stick. Ay, hit the mills on my bucket list. I ain't playing when I say that I'm gonna blow up like a puffer fish. Ay, I'm that nigga bitch is fucking with. Only chilling with the realest, you won't catch me on some sucker shit. Nah, gas, I be smoking, it be hella dense. Straight clean, nigga, all about my elegance. Ay, I ain't tripping off these niggas, they irrelevant. All the when it comes down to mixing dubs and ad libs, I don't really do anything different when it comes down to the actual mixing of the vocals. I mostly just grab the plugins that I use to mix the main vocals and I just copy and paste them onto the dubs and the ad libs. And then within, I just add like an extra plugin. For one of them, let's cut out all that low end. I boosted up some of that upper mid highs and then I cut out that low, just giving it some of that like a telephone effect to the vocals. Young nigga, yeah, I'm fucking lit. I'll be going, 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 see me working till I'm fucking rich. Ay, five hoes, girl, you number six. I had niggas do me dirty, they're the reason why I tuck a stick. Ay, hit the mills. You don't want it to be too noticeable, but you want it to blend in well with the vocals. That way, it just gives it like a bigger, a fuller effect to the vocals. And then the next thing you could do to get that little baby style dubs and ad libs is you want to make sure you are de -sing a little bit more than you are on the vocals, just because with these S's when they bunch up with the main vocals, the frequencies do clash a little bit. So you wanna make sure you are de a little bit more of those frequencies. So for example, here I got 34, and then here I have 28, and then I added two de So for this one, I'm doing a little bit more de on the dubs and the ad-libs. That way, like I said, those frequencies don't clash and then create these harsh frequencies that hurt people's ears. Another cool thing you could do is widen up the vocals. I added the S1 imager, I have it at about 120, and then the vocals, I'll put it at 115. That way, the dubs and the ad libs, they get pushed out more, and it gives the vocals a fuller, like a wider effect. Plugins that I bust onto the ad libs and dubs, I just add a bit more delay than the normal vocals. I add more reverb to the vocals. A cool trick you could do is also if you have, for example, like here, I have two pairs of dubs. With one of the dubs, I will add more of one reverb than the other and then on the other dub i'll add more of the other reverb than the other put both of the dubs and the ad libs in different like spaces depending on the reverb you're using so for example the first one here i could add more of the first reverb and less of the second reverb Nigga, yeah, I'm fucking lit. i'll be going 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 see me working till i'm fucking rich hey five hoes girl you number six i had niggas do me dirty they're the reason why i tried to stick hey hit the mills on my bucket list I ain't playing when I That's like over exaggerated of the reverb. If you add more of one reverb, one of the dubs and the ad libs, and then you add the other reverb to the other dubs and ad libs, you just put both of them in different spaces and then they just pop out more. And then the next cool trick you could do when mixing like those dubs and ad libs is just pan each one, one left and then one right. That way they're not all in the center, the vocals, and then one dub and then the other dub. And then for the second pair of dubs, I put them more wider, put them more down. So the first two are like 16 and 12. 28 and, and 29 and you can always change up the numbers that way they just pop out in different places so if you were to play it they all pop out in different places Nigga, yeah, I'm fucking lit. I'll be going 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 see me working till I'm fucking rich Ay, five hoes girl you number six I had niggas do me dirty they're the reason why I tuck a stick Ay, hit them in you can always hard pan left and then right and then put the other ones like 30 percentage depending on the feel of the dubs and the ad libs you're going for it will depend like on the numbers you're choosing and then you can also eq the other pair like the other ad lib and the other dub you don't necessarily have to have the same eq cut i just cut out the low end and then cut out some of the high end probably push up some of that upper mids that way each dub and ad lib has its own like frequencies and like i said i'll put the link to the song down below in the description now if you want to get your song mixed and mastered by me feel free to hit me up on my instagram or on my website everything will be down below in the description i want to remind you to subscribe and drop a like and i hope to see you in the next video my name is david the crook peace